Most of the people who are looking to work on transcription companies are finding it hard to pass the test. There are so many companies offering transcription jobs and I have reviewed some of them on my previous videos. All these companies require a transcriptionist to pass a test before they get hired. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Grammarly and other software to pass any transcription test. What's up, family? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for tuning in. In case you are joining me for the very first time, my name is Carol and I share information on how to make money online. So if you're looking for such kind of information, you are on the right place. Am I Grammarly works on fixing your sentences. It provides the correct spelling, correct grammar, and also on how to use the correct punctuation marks. Now, when it comes to transcribing audio to text, you can do so in three different ways. One of them is transcribing from scratch without using an automatic software. The second one is to have a company make transcriptions for you. And the third one is by using automatic software. Sometimes you find it challenging when transcribing from scratch because it's time consuming and tiresome. And that's where Otter comes in. One of the things that makes Otter stand out is that you don't have to type the file from scratch, especially when you're working on large files. Another advantage is that most of the beginners don't have high typing speed. And you find that most of them fail transcription tests because the time given is retro as they have to transcribe from scratch. So you find that you don't have time to proofread your work or correct mistakes and they end up failing the test. That was my main challenge when I was transcribing manually, but since I discovered Otter, everything changed. You should also note that Otter is not 100% accurate. It sometimes makes mistakes, and at the end of it, you have to go through your work to make sure it's well punctuated, there are no grammatical errors, and to remove any mistakes that can make you fail the test. Now, how do you install Otter? Getting Otter account is very simple. Just go to otter.ai and sign up. You will be required to enter your email address, create a new password, and just by doing that, you get your Otter account. Once you have successfully created an account, you will be required to confirm your email. Otter.ai will send you a link through an email. Follow the link and it will take you direct to your account. Now that you have successfully created an account, let's find out how it works. Now we are at otter.ai account where we are going to learn how to use it step by step. So on Otter, there are three different plans. We have basic one, which is free account. There is also a pro account and there is Otter business. On basic account, you get 600 minutes free and three imports every month. The 600 minutes are the number of minutes you can record using auto speech to text function. These minutes reset every month. Now, the three imports are the number of files that you can import on auto software and they will be transcribed for you. So you get 600 minutes and three imports for free on basic account. Auto Pro and Auto Business are not free as you have to pay a small fee for you to use them. In case you would like a complete tutorial on Otter Pro and Otter Business, I will gladly do it. Just let me know on the comment section. Now to the actual work. We are going to import a file and wait for it to be transcribed. Click on import, then click on browse file and choose the file you wish to be transcribed. The file is here and as you can see, it's being processed.
my file is ready. What you do is to click on it and this is the transcript. It has been transcribed for you. Note that the period it takes to process your file depends on how big your file is. Here are a few things you should note before using otter.ai. Number one, the transcripts generated are not 100% accurate. So you have to take your time and edit the file. Good thing about Otter, you can actually edit it here. Once you make sure that everything is how it should be in terms of accuracy, speaker labels are not mixed up, and you have gone through the transcript from the beginning to the end, it's time for you to export your file. Click here on these three dots and choose export text. On export format, here we have four options, but for basic account users, we only have TXT option. The reason why we can't use other options is because we are using basic plan account, which is free, so we choose TXT. You can choose to include speakers' names, timestamps, manage some speaker segment, but you can't choose export on monologue because if you do so, you don't get to see all the other speakers. So once you have set that up, you can continue now. It has been exported as you can see here. Now, remember it's a TXT file because if you are using a basic plan account, you don't have the option to export your text file as docs, as a PDF or as SRT. So we are gonna do copy and paste here. You simply copy all these and then paste it on a Word document. Let me show you how to do it. Perfect. Now that we have our file ready, we have to make sure that the grammar, spelling, and punctuations are all correct. And this is where Grammarly comes in. As you can see, I have Grammarly installed on my PC, but I will take you through the installation process. Go to Google Chrome and type Grammarly.com. Click on Download Grammarly. Follow the installation process and within minutes, it will be installed on your laptop. Go back to your file and correct any pending mistakes. Click on this icon here and as you can see, it has highlighted the issues. Sometimes you might feel like if you change a certain issue, you will be altering the speaker's words. And on transcription, you are trying to kind of maintain the original speech of the speaker. For writing articles, you can change a whole bunch of things because you want the article to read correctly. But remember on transcription, we are transcribing what is being said, so you don't have the power to put something which is going to change what a certain speaker said. It has identified spelling mistakes, punctuation mistakes, capitalization, and grammar. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix them.
scroll down, you can see my document is clean. It's grammatically correct, punctuation are well placed, and the file sound better too when you read it. Proofread your document for the last time and if you are satisfied, you can go ahead and submit it. That's how you use otter.ai and Grammarly. If you use them wisely, I am 100% sure you will pass a transcription test or even get a good grade rating if you are already working in a transcription company. So you can use them for transcription test or for transcribing your jobs as a transcriptionist. Most of the companies allow transcribers to use automatic softwares to work on files. So make use of them to make your work easier. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you on the next one.